A home-based child care center in Grand Rapids had its license suspended on Friday, and the state is now taking steps to have it permanently revoked. Michael Martin has details on the allegations leveled against the facility's operator and her take on this whole situation, which she says is nothing more than a big family feud, Michael. Max Janice, that's exactly how she explained it to us. Now, the situation, the Michigan Department of Licensing and Regulatory Affairs completed their investigation at the end of last week. And as of 6 p.m. on Friday, the group child care homes operator, Natasha Chapman, is now prohibited from operating a child care facility at her home on Benjamin Avenue on the city's southeast side or anywhere else. Now we spoke to Chapman just about a half an hour ago. She says the allegations are simply not a fair characterization of what actually happened. The state agency claims in a summary of their investigation findings that Chapman allowed several adult individuals to live and hang around the home without running criminal background checks on them. Now one of those individuals occasionally staying there allegedly had a history of criminal sexual conduct with Chapman apparently telling the state that they would quote snort cocaine and get very violent with another person who was also often at the house. Now, while she spoke of an aunt as well, saying that that aunt would often stop by and that she was, quote, on drugs and a thief. Now, the report mentions piles of clutter, dirt, and cracked floors and a potential infestation of mice. On one of their visits, state agents also allegedly found a large jar of cannabis in an area, they say, of the home that kids could access. But Fox 17, well, we spoke to Chapman Monday afternoon, and she tells us that all of these adults that are named in the summary, which they don't provide their names, they just list different individuals. She says that they're all family members. She says the home belonged to her grandmother for several decades before she took it over in 2019. At that time, she says the home was in absolute disrepair, full of a lot of different animals, bed bugs, nearly unlivable. She says that it was her that fixed up the house. In turn, family members who needed a place to stay, they just started showing up. And basically, I came in and I gutted the house. I gutted the house of the people. I got at the house physically, like I had all new plumbing put in, all new electricity, a new roof, et cetera, et cetera. So now that the house is in a good condition, there are people in my family who comes over here and think that they can just live here, you know? And in the process of me trying to get help from the Grand Rapids Police Department and getting them out, I'm being told I can't put them out. So I instead, I have to get eviction notices. So. 30 day notices for everybody. And as I give them one, these people in my family, unfortunately, are calling Child Protective Services on me. They call Child Licensing on me. They call Adult Protective Services. They're making up things about me. Now, Chapman says she will continue to care for the children that are in her home, telling us they're all family members. She says that she's able to do that. According to the licensing agency, she just can't be paid to watch them, at least for the time being. She is appealing the suspension of her license, though. We'll have updates as soon as we can. For now, live in the studio, Michael Martin, Fox 17 News.